Welcome back to Tashkid FX for another Phantom Price Prediction update which at the time of this recording is holding above the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart which is now acting as support for us to continue gearing up. We have also continued to hold above a key area of support at around the 0.01798 dollar mark. We have also continued to obey the ADF structures where we have been seeing a bit of a breakdown to the lower side in the formation of this wave 2 in a breakdown move that has now given us a low at around the 0.01855 dollar mark and all this is playing out after we fully picked in the formation of that larger area wave count 1 and that was after seeing a 5 wave structure to the upper side having the wave 5 giving us a peak at around the 0.03258 dollar mark and before I get further into the technical analysis and give you areas here on the charts that we need to continue holding here on the VeChain chart, first give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership. And in the formation of this wave 2 using the Fibonacci's, connecting them from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1, that gave me a minimum retracement area for that second wave between the FIB level 0.5 and the FIB level 0.78 which is a target area that lies between the 0.024 dollar mark and the 0.01907 dollar mark which is the area highlighted here on the charts using this blue target area and you can see that at the time of this recording we have fully maximized the target area and that now means that VeChain is ready for a massive pump in the formation of this wave 3 since we have done the minimum that we expected this second wave to the lower side to do. I also said to you in my previous videos that we also need to continue watching the FIB level 0.78 because that is a very significant area on the Fibonacci that we need to continue holding in the formation of this wave 2. And you can see that at some point we lost the FIB level 0.78 making a low at around the 0.01852 dollar mark. And that now means that we are starting to see a major challenge on the formation of this wave 2. And there are chances that there are still chances that we can still recover and get above the FIB level 0.78 and start our impulsive wave to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 and also see a 5 wave structure to the upper side. We also need to have in mind that having lost the FIB level 0.78 that is putting a major challenge on the formation of this wave 2 and there are chances that in case we continue seeing further breakdown we might also see the loss of the FIB level 0.88 which lies at around the 0.01745 dollar mark and in case such a breakdown move plays out and we lose that area on the Fibonacci, then that would be suggesting an even more bearish scenario here on the VeChain chart where we could even see a reset of our bear market law. So we also need to have that in mind. So let's continue watching our key area of support at around the 0.01798 dollar mark because we need to continue holding above that. And as long as we continue holding above that, then we have the high chances of seeing a recovery, start our impulsive wave to the upside in the formation of that wave 3. And once that move starts and we also have confirmations that we have a low in place for this second wave, I can also give you target areas for the formation of that wave 3. Also taking a look at the indicators on the RSI we are trading at around the 45 mark meaning we have massive room for us to fully support higher prices. Also taking a look at the MACD, we have been able to print a bullish cross, fully supporting higher prices. So let's be patient and see how that plays out and I'll be keeping you updated.